Alone at home, it's getting cold. The wild wind blows and the roads are frozen. No more shows, frostbitten toes, corona killer, spreading pneumonia. 14 year old boy wants to give her a toy. She can't breathe, her knees are weak. He flees the police and hospital security. Earphones banging, a keyless place keys. Conceals himself between the ER and ENT. She is no more herself, popping every drug off the shelf. Shelf life might die before she can even cry. He is in pain again and again. Waits for an opening in vain. The strain makes him feel maimed. It's insane how even the doctor was profane. They both used to sit by the window panes and stare at aeroplanes. Play all day, all day, all day. Now things would never be the same. He was pretending to be brave. Life and dying was all she craved. Wine and dying was off the table. Survival was now the name of the fable. Poverty would burn bridges if you were tribal. TV was reality, no medicine on the cable. In his hand was a bag of bagels. Uh -huh. And all his funny poems. Yeah. Boy, he was ready to bring the smiles. Oh, yeah. Inside, he could hear the cries. He didn't understand why. The nurse was being so kind. Time was running out in his mind. He stood by her bedside, kissed her, even though he could die. There were many rules to abide. Now, in our final moments, nothing could divide. The true love of an innocent child. So he cracked joke after joke. Yeah. So she laughed and a depression broke. Oh yeah. Outside he could see the bellowing smoke. Outside the grass was really green, he told. Tucked her in bread sheets, she looked at him fold. They remembered the past cookies they sold. He told her that she was really bold. That it was okay to die, even if she wasn't a hundred years old. She tried to hold back the tears though. He tried to control emotions before. They were both fresh off the boat. Now he felt all alone. And then he felt her let go. He laughed like never before. So that she could hear him before. Life support would let go. Let go. Let go. Let go.